World Wrestling Entertainment WWE and UFC parent company Endeavor Group are merging to form a new publicly traded company valued at over $21 billion. Endeavor shareholders will own 51% of the newly combined company, while WWE shareholders will get 49%. Ariel Emanuel, CEO of Endeavor, will become the CEO of the new company, while Vince McMahon will retain his current title of executive chairman. The deal is expected to close in the second half of 2023, with the new company trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol TKO. The board of directors will have 11 members named at a later date, with six of them appointed by Endeavor and the remaining picked by WWE. The companies expect to save $50 million to $100 million in costs once the deal is complete. The new company could expand by pursuing other mergers and acquisitions. WWE shares fell nearly 10% in early trading, while Endeavor slumped about 2%. The agreement values each share of WWE at $106, which represents a premium of 16% to the company's Friday closing, and gives WWE an enterprise value of $9.3 billion. Endeavor became the outright owner of UFC in 2021, and its revenue for the sports unit, which houses the UFC, grew 20% last year to $1.3 billion. Monday's deal marks the end of WWE as a family-owned business, as Vince McMahon bought the company from his father in the early 1980s. McMahon, the company's largest shareholder, was forced to retire as its CEO last year following a hush money and sexual harassment scandal. The company struck a deal with NBC Universal's streaming service Peacock for a reported $1 billion in 2021 to air many of its shows. Although many of the payments are related to the company's investigation of his alleged sexual misconduct with former employees, Vince McMahon reportedly made undisclosed payments of $5 million to former President Donald Trump's charity, the Donald J. Trump Foundation, in 2007 and 2009, according to the Wall Street Journal. The journal reported in July 2020 to that McMahon paid more than $12 million to For Women to cover up allegations of sexual misconduct and infidelity. McMahon said he didn't need much convincing to stay and called the merger a great opportunity.